Astronomers from McGill University in Canada and the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore have used data from the giant meter wave radio telescope in Pune to detect a radio signal originating from atomic hydrogen in an extremely distant galaxy. This is by far the largest astronomical distance over which such a signal has been picked up according to the researchers. This is also the first confirmed detection of strong lensing of 21 cm emission from a galaxy. The findings have now been published by the Royal Astronomical Society. While detection of radio waves with 21 cm wavelength emitted by atomic hydrogen is possible through low frequency radio telescopes like GMRT, the extremely weak nature of the radio signals make it nearly impossible to detect emissions from a distant galaxy. The most distant galaxy detected to the 21 cm emission so far was at redshift z is equal to 0.376. Redshift represents the change in wavelength of the signal depending on the object's location and movement. A greater value of z indicates a farther object. Thus, 21 cm emission is a direct tracer of the atomic gas content in both nearby and distant galaxies. The researchers said that atomic hydrogen is the basic fuel required for star formation in a galaxy. When hot ionized gas from the surrounding medium falls onto the galaxy, the gas cools and forms atomic hydrogen, which then becomes molecular hydrogen and eventually leads to the formation of stars. Therefore, understanding the evolution of galaxies over cosmic time requires tracing the evolution of neutral gas at different cosmological epochs. Using GMRT data, Annab Chakravarti, postdoctoral researcher at the Department of Physics and Trottier Space Institute of McGill University and Nirupam Roy, Associate Professor, Department of Physics, IISC, have detected a radio signal from atomic hydrogen in a distant galaxy at redshift Z is equal to 1.29. Due to the immense distance of the galaxy, the 21 cm emission line had redshifted to 48 cm by the time the signal travelled from the source to the telescope, said Chakravarti. The signal detected by the team was emitted from this galaxy when the universe was only 4.9 billion years old. In other words, the look-back time for this source is 8.8 .8 billion years. This detection was made possible by a phenomena called gravitational lensing, in which the light emitted by the source is bent due to the presence of another massive body, such as an early type elliptical galaxy between the target galaxy and the observer, effectively resulting in the magnification of the signal. The team also observed that the atomic hydrogen mass of this particular galaxy is almost twice as high as its stellar mass. These results demonstrate the feasibility of observing atomic gas from galaxies at cosmological distances in similar lensed systems with a modest amount of observing time. It also opens up exciting new possibilities for probing the cosmic evolution of neutral gas with existing and upcoming low-frequency radio telescopes in the near future, the statement said.